food lovers, cider braised pork loin. We also gonna make a beautiful side dish, gratin, dauphinoise. I'm Wes, let's get started. Use a firm type of potatoes, and we're gonna peel them first. We're only gonna rinse our potatoes once in cold water, and that is before slicing them. The next step is to slice our potatoes. And what we need is a very thin slice, two millimeters at the best, and three millimeters maximum. We're not gonna rinse our potato slices. As you can see, there's a lot of starch coming out. Our creme fraiche. The milk. We're gonna start with 20 grams of salt. A good pepper milk. And a little pinch of nutmeg. Give it a good whisk. Take a garlic and rub the oven plate. Give it a good rub with butter. We can be very generous with the butter. We're gonna add a first layer of potatoes. And we're gonna pour our milk and creme fraiche. Another layer of potatoes. So you already might be asking, where is the cheese? But the original gratin dauphinoise has no cheese in it. Milk and creme fresh again. There we go again, potatoes. Milk and creme fresh. Just until the top. Give it a turn of sea salt. Another good turn of pepper. And very important, we're gonna grate some butter on the top. Heat up your oven up to 150 degrees Celsius. And we're gonna bake our gratin dauphinoise for two and a half to three hours, low and slow. We're gonna rinse our pork in cold water. And we're gonna cut it in some nice chunks. We don't want them too small. This is a really nice size for me. Of course, sea salt. A good pepper mill. A good tablespoon of wheat flour. And rub your meat in the flour. A good amount of butter. Frying pan on medium heat. And we're gonna fry our pork. Try it for uh, five minutes on each side, just to get a light brown color. And we're gonna deglaze with half a glass of hard cider. I'm gonna to try to get all of our flavors out of the pan. We're gonna chop our shallots. Garlic. All in the bowl. A few sprigs of thyme, a few bay leaves, two cloves, a good tablespoon of our homemade Dijon mustard. You can find the link to the recipe at the end of this video. We start off with a few apricots, the pork loin with the juices, 
We're going to start with a teaspoon of salt, a good pepper mill, shallots and the garlic, a few more apricots, and the rest of our hard cider. Heat up your pan, maximum heat, put the lid on and after five minutes lower the heat to the minimum and we're going to let it simmer for one hour. In the meantime, chop some parsley. And this is just to decorate your plating and you can also use some pink peppercorns. For the last 20 minutes we're going to take off the lid and we're going to let it simmer to reduce the sauce. We're also going to taste our sauce to see if it's got salt enough. I'm going to pour a little bit more sea salt in there. You see after 20 minutes the sauce is thicker. It's nicely reduced so we're going to kill the heat and we put the lid back on to let it rest for 10 minutes. The gratin dauphinois is ready as well. It's got a beautiful crust and we're ready to serve. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was useful for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that bell. It's a great motivation for me. And as this story ends, my dear friends, all that's left to say, bon appetit and see you back soon.